Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about some tips and tricks for building with Meccano. But first, let's check out these awesome Meccano sets. This is Max. He is a robot that I built myself. What up, internet? He knows jokes, can make music, and can learn how to do all sorts of cool stuff. Hey, <laughs> come on, you're embarrassing me. And this is the off-road racer from the 25 model set. This car has a built-in motor and real suspension that allows it to drive over all sorts of obstacles. Plus, you can build 25 different vehicles from this one kit. Meccano is an awesome system that uses actual nuts and bolts to create all sorts of cool things, like cars, dinosaurs, robots, and really, whatever you can think of. All parts, motors, and sensors are interchangeable, so the possibilities are endless. Every Meccano kit comes with a set of instructions. Let me show you a few cool parts in the instruction manual. Everything is broken down into steps that will help you build whatever set you have. Some steps will use parts that you built earlier. Like here, for step 15, we will also use some parts we built in steps 1, 4, and 14, like this. If you see this symbol, that means you should rotate your bell to work on a different side. And if you see this symbol, that means you should change your perspective to look at your bell from another angle. Now check out these tools I'm using. This one is a lot like a screwdriver, but because we're using bolts and not screws, we call it a hex tool. See, hex, hexagon, get it? Here are some standard nuts and bolts. These two pieces work together to secure parts together like this. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. And this is a wrench that we call the spanner. It has a few cool tricks to help you get into tight spaces. Not that tight. This part on the end can hold a nut in place, allowing you to get into hard to reach spots. The spanner is super helpful for making sure bolts are tightly secured to your parts. But in some cases, it's easier to use your finger to secure a nut, like on our plastic parts. See these square holes? We call these nut retainers. And when you hold a nut to it, it prevents it from rotating so you can secure bolts even faster. As you can see here, there are different kinds of nuts. This one is called a lock nut and has a little piece of plastic inside it. This is very useful for securing something like a wheel while still allowing it to spin around. If you're ever unsure about which nut and bolt to use, look for this image in your instruction manual and hold your piece up to it. Sometimes when trying to get to a hard to reach spot, gravity will be working against you. If you ever feel this way, just try rotating your entire build to have gravity working with you. Well, I hope you find these tips and tricks helpful when building your next set. Be sure to check out Meccano.com to see all sorts of cool builds and videos. Thanks for watching. Hasta la vista, baby. Yeah. <laughs>